This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. What kind of screwy weather have we been having? We've got smoke coming down from Canada. We're really low in rainfall. Some of the streams and rivers are really, really low. I've got to tell you something though, with schools canceling, we had a chance to do quite a few kids programs. Now, how about this one? We end up being invited to a field day, really about releasing eels and water quality. All happened along the Susquehanna River across from the town of Tawanda. Now, Deanna Johnston works for the Northeast Bradford School District. She organized this huge event, and you're also gonna hear in this story from WCO, Ty Moon. Today, we are at Riverfront Park in Tawanda, PA. We are doing our watershed wellness event for Northeast Bradford School District where all of my biology students are participating in a bunch of different local watershed educational stations and the main event today will be our native freshwater eel release. They're all my biology students, this is in the club, so they're 9th and 10th graders, 15, 16 year olds. We have 30 kids today. Wow. Yeah. Just check out your schedule. See where you're at. Molly, Kristen, Jocelyn, and Caitlin. There you go. And then group two, it's Wyatt, James, Lex, and Colton. Tell me like from when the buses show up, what, what happens? So I have the kids split into seven different groups and they're gonna take turns rotating through different stations. And each station is geared towards different important parts of our watershed and educating them on how all of these things work together to maintain not only the health of our environment here in Tawanda and in Pennsylvania, but also the Chesapeake Bay, how we all play an influence in maintaining the health of that ecosystem. Ty Moon from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission was on hand to identify macro invertebrates living in the river. But first, you have to catch them. Make sure that, that bottom of the dune is on the bottom. And you kind of want to do, you get a little bit of a, kind of imagine a one by one meter square here. And you kind of just rip up the bottom. And those macro invertebrates should theoretically end up in your net. It's just something to bring awareness to, you know, especially the, the school kids. And it's great to get them out here out of the classroom because this is where the real, real learning is done. And collecting it is half the fun. Absolutely. That was pretty cool, right in the water, yep. kicking them around. Yep, so, you know, yeah, it's a good time. Get them out there in the water, um, have them do the collection and see what they catch. And they, they brought a great spread in here today. What are you guys finding? A couple of small bugs. All right, we'll get, we'll get a little water in these bins. And... Yeah, just dump, dump it in there. Usually if you just did it like so, just dip it in, yep. Perfect, awesome. What kind of haul did you get here? We got a good mix. Oh yeah, a lot of nice critters floating around in there. So, uh, you guys go ahead and grab your keys and we'll go through and see what we got. So, one, one find that he got. He got a, he got a small, small little crayfish, which he's all he's all spunky and ready to go, uh, as well. And like I said, the crayfish they're they're still part of that predator feeding group, and they're going to be in there looking for different macroinvertebrates, looking for small fish to go after. Um, these guys, the small one here, is obviously not going to be able to get too many big fish, uh, but he's he's also in there uh, looking for some of these small bugs that get in some of the, under these rocks and that's what he's feeding on until he gets bigger. Um, and then the, the Helgramite here, uh, the larvae of the Dobson fly, he is kind of looking looking around the same thing. He's looking for uh, smaller fish. A lot of the times these bigger like stone flies in here, these golden stone flies, that's perfect food for this guy. So based on what you found out there, 
that's a good collection, isn't it? I mean, that yes. shows some clarity and cleanliness to the water, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, it's a good good variety. Um, and you can say it's a good mix and with the mayflies and even the caddis flies that we found and the stone flies. I mean, it's a, it, it's a good sign for the river to come and, it, and continually to the future. You seem excited about your event. I am, I've been planning it for a really long time. I think it's most important for me today that the kids see how much of an impact they can have on their environment. That's a big thing. Um, kids don't realize how much of a voice that they do have and they've spent a lot of time this year in biology. We take it from the atom all the way up to like food webs and the whole ecosystem, ecology and the biosphere. And I want them to see how they do play a role in keeping Pennsylvania beautiful and keeping our environment healthy. They do play a role in raising awareness for our freshwater mussels, which so many of them are endangered. And raising awareness for the eels as well. A lot of people don't know that eels are native to Pennsylvania. So end of the day, they get back on the bus. What do you, ho what do you hope they take home with them? All the amazing careers that there are in science. Um, earlier this year, I asked students to research a science career, and a lot of them picked excellent careers like um, in the medical industry and in engineering, but very few of them thought to research anything like environmental. And I want them to see there's a lot of diversity, there's a lot of opportunities, it's a growing field, it's an important field. I want them to get some experience with those um, opportunities that they could have. And I also, again, really want them to see that they make a difference. We all play a role in maintaining this beautiful place. Um, and the more people that know about the different impacts that we have and the ways that we can make a difference to protect our area, the better it will be for future generations. So as a producer, I look at stories like the one Deanna just did, and I say to myself, I could get a whole show out of this. We're going to talk about fish, we're going to release eels, and we're going to do all that right after we take a short break. We'll be right back. 